Well, hello everybody. Hope you're all having a good Saturday. This is a little thing for Nancy here. She said I get some pretty awesome that I get on my trails so quick to my house. I live about two miles away and this is at the trailhead from where I hit all my bike trails. And I live about two miles from here. And I come down like little city streets, but as you can see, everything's well located as bike paths and stuff like that to get you here. So that makes it really nice. And then I hit my back, my bike path. And this here will take me off to where I got about 250 miles worth that I can hit off of just a few turnoffs that I have here. That'll take me throughout the city. And I kind of have a question for you all. You guys can put it in the comments. As you can see, my front tire is getting pretty bald again. And I'm going to be changing it. Um, I can make a video of me changing this front tire. Because that's going to be part of, our, of your standard maintenance with this bicycle. Is changing that front tire. And it's not easy. <laughs> I have to say that. It's definitely hard to change the front tires on this thing. And I can do a video of me changing the tire if you guys would like. And right now, we are setting at 950 miles on this bike so far and I got it in August so I've put quite a bit of mileage on it thus far but I'm really enjoying the crap out of it that's for sure oh I gotta take it down off of level five now that I'm under my bike pass I keep it up on level five when I'm on city streets because then I can get max speed and be able to go through the city streets for the two miles I gotta drive to get to here then once I get over to here then I cut it down to three and then I just take it nice and easy and cruise along and I'll show you how far it takes me to get to where I can cut off of here and go on to multiple other locations throughout the city, all off of this trail right here. And as you can see, my start off, I get beautiful scenery of the city and the mountains with all the snow cap on them. Oh, it's gorgeous just to even start my ride. It's nice living here in Denver where they do do all this stuff and we have emergency phones along the bike paths, security cameras everywhere. So there's pretty well taken care of around here. They do a pretty darn good job. And it's just gorgeous scenery. And it, it's like this pretty much everywhere you go, there, unless you go downtown. And I might go downtown uh, now that Christmas season is here. And they, they have uh, Christmas lights and stuff going on downtown in a lot of places. I think I might do a night, couple night rides. If you guys just let me know one way or the other, go out and do a couple night rides and just look at uh, Christmas lights. I thought that that might be kind of cool. But I got to figure out where there's some places where I could be a decent video for just a few minutes driving around looking at Christmas lights thought that might be kind of cool that's the nice thing about this it's a little different than riding around in a car if you can find one nice little neighborhood get on your bicycle and ride around and get a good look at all the Christmas lights I'm looking forward to that and during the when it's warm out I like riding this thing fast. It's so much fun riding fast. But when it gets, now that it's winter time and it's cooled down, I'm not going as quick. <laughs> we got some ducks down here in the water. So I get to see stuff like this all the time. And I, such beautiful scenery. Such beautiful scenery all the time. And it'll be coming up here real soon on one of my cutoffs that I can turn and go towards downtown if I want to, or I can keep on going and stay over here on the west side of town. Or after I pass this turn up here, there's another place where I can turn and go to the west side of town, which is one of the directions I tend to go. I like staying on the north side here and going west. I'm not a big fan of going towards the downtown area. Unfortunately, there are a lot of homeless that camp out on the bike pass 
in the downtown area and it's not exactly pleasurable going for a ride down through there. And here we are coming up on one of my turnoffs where I can turn and go downtown if I want to go downtown. And it's taken that short amount of time for me to get to here. And I can turn right here, go on that bike path right there, and it will take me into downtown Denver. And But I won't go that way most of the time. I, I've ridden that direction a lot on my mountain bike, but... I haven't taken this bike down that way yet. It's just not exactly the most pleasurable ride. <laughs> How you doing? And with this trail right here, I can either go left and that keeps me along the river and keeps me to the north side of town or I can go right which I'm gonna do and this takes me to the west side of town it takes me out towards a town called Golden Broomfield Lafayette I normally don't go that far because they're a little further away than I can normally get with this one charge on this bike but that's the nice thing about it is that I'm on this type of riding my entire 50 miles worth of riding I can get out of this bicycle I, and I'm never on a city street once I get the two miles from my house to the bike pass I, I will drain this battery being on paths like this the entire time and it's just it's I sometimes I don't know for sure how some of you guys feel but sometimes I think it's a little more prettier during uh, the winter time I'm yeah the trees are dead and the leaves have fallen but it's got a certain amount of beauty to it when it's this way too with all the snow on the ground cold <laughs> but it's still pretty cool I like it that's I get to see something different and when the when the water freezes and stuff like that the exact same bike path changes so it's pretty neat and even off of this trail right here, once we get a, another mile or so down this path, I can cut off of, from it and go even another direction. It'll take me on a different part of downtown. That path back there that takes you into downtown, it takes you to through a pretty crappy part of downtown. But this other one up here, it goes into a little bit nicer part of downtown and it still ain't the nicest of bike rides to get in there but once you get into downtown it's really cool it's just you come across a pretty crappy little section which is unfortunate I mean it's unfortunately that the homeless have no other place to go other than onto the bike pass it'd be nice if there was some assistance for these people and see there's like another cutoff right there that goes to a different direction with all the cool painting And it's pretty awesome bike paths that we have around this town. Our tax dollars are very well spent. And it's a uh, lotto money. Money from people uh, buying lotto tickets that helps fund all of these bike paths that we have in our town. And they passed the, when they first brought lotto to Colorado, that was one of the stipulations of the lotto coming here was that all the month lot of that there were going to be proceeds that were going to have to go to uh parks and rec to build these bike paths so if it wasn't for the lotto then we wouldn't have all this but i've been along this exact same path with you guys before when the trees were green and full and it looked a lot different. You couldn't even see this little lake right here when the trees were all full of leaves and everything. So 
and the, the streams along the sides, you don't see them as much because there's a nice little river along this river stream along this side that you normally don't get to see in the summertime because of all the beautiful leaves and it's sunny and it's warm so you're going faster and you're just enjoying yourself <laughs> you don't notice as much scenery i noticed that as the winter has came i have definitely slowed my pace down and i see a lot more stuff <laughs> And I certainly hope everybody had themselves a good meal and all that good stuff for their Thanksgiving. My daughter was pretty insistent about me having a Thanksgiving this year and cooking. Because with me having my heart attack in August, I might not be here to have done all this cooking and having hanging out with my family and doing stuff like that, which was pretty... I looked at it a little bit differently this year after having my heart attack, that's for sure. I took a little more appreciation for it. Oh, such an awesome day. The nice thing about living here in Colorado, that even in the end of November, going into those December we have days like this we are supposed to get a little snow on Wednesday just an inch or so we won't really get our big snows until January February everybody seems to think living here in Colorado it's always snowing and everything and it's not we have some gorgeous weather around here it's not always like it is out east, when it gets cold, it stays cold. And y'all stay in an ice box for the entire winter. Once it comes, it stays. Not around here. And winter comes and goes week by week. Gosh, that's so nice. It's one of the things I've really enjoyed about living here my life, my entire life. I've lived in Colorado. I, I've traveled around the country when I was younger, trying to figure out where I wanted to live, what I wanted to do with my life. And I always kept coming back to this place because it's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. Seeing the rivers in the wintertime here is just so gorgeous. Especially when you're a person like me that likes to spend a lot of time outdoors. It's nice to have scenery like this to look at all the time and to be able to go do it. There's something to do all the time around here. Oh, we got some sidewalk art coming. Got a little bee, got a flower. Oh, there's some cool sidewalk art here. It's so cool that they do this along our bike pass. So you get that big old butterfly there. Nice old flower. And they got some really cool murals along the way. That's one of the reasons why I really enjoy taking this bike path. Because you got all kinds of really neat stuff like this along the way. And we got one more. Little bumblebee. <laughs> so neat. So neat that they have stuff like this along my bike path. So that I can check stuff like this out along my way. And my video has gone almost 15 minutes, so I guess I should be putting it here to an end pretty soon here. I don't generally put them on for longer than 15. And it, I'll show you the rest of it. I've stopped in the middle of the sidewalk art here. And there's more up here. I wanted to show you guys all this cool sidewalk art that we get to look at all the time on my bike ride.
and I did a video where I talked to one of the artists who's doing all this there's about 17 of them that are part of the project that are putting these on the on this on the bike path they are so cool to have all those little things like that and see this beautiful scenery I get to see it's no wonder I can't help but go out for a bike ride every weekend because I get to see all this beautiful stuff all the time but I certainly hope you guys have all had yourselves a good weekend and a good Thanksgiving long weekend which is always awesome and you guys got the opportunity to spend time with family and loved ones and enjoyed yourselves and I'm gonna stop my video and do a little more riding and you guys have yourselves a really nice weekend of what's left of it because I'm gonna enjoy mine and we'll talk to you guys soon and let me know about changing out on this darn tire you see mine's pretty bald now I'm getting pretty low on that tread and I'm gonna change the tires so let me know if you guys want to uh, me do a video on changing that tire or not and we'll talk to you guys soon oh see we got people riding they're having such a good time we got lots of people out here I love this place this is so awesome We'll talk to you guys soon.